Hey everybody, Civil Gear here. Today I'm talking about Nikkor's NU10 headlamp. I'll be going over so the user interface, some features of the light, and why you might want to consider it. Uh, for a full review and more pictures, check out my WordPress blog at civilgear.wordpress.com. Alright, so first of all, the light's only 160 lumens. I think most people would pass over that number for lamps with more uh, lumen output. But actually the feature that really drew me to the NU10 is that it can recharge while operating. So I'll show you that. Um, if you open up the micro USB cover here, you can see um, the port and it comes with a cable, which is pretty neat. So I'll plug in here and I happen to have the F1 from Nikkor, their power bank. And when it starts uh, charging, it'll be red. It'll turn the light off if it's on, but you can operate the light while it's still charging. So. That's one of the reasons why I went for the NU10 is you can have as much power and runtime as you have batteries. So um, that's why I went for this guy. In regards to charging, um, it takes only about an hour and a half to charge this whole battery in here, which is pretty cool. It has like almost seven, eight hours um, from what I've measured of output to only one and a half hours of charging. The input is a really great ratio in my mind. And plus having this is um, you're just going to have so much power. Uh, runtime available to you with the NU10. So if you're working a full shift out in the field or if you're just working a full day in the shop, um, I think this is a great option because you just have so much runtime available to you. And again, this is kind of a floodier beam, so this is more of working with your hands than really a jogging light. So um, that's why this is a great uh, choice for hands-on DIY kind of folks. Um, and when this is done charging, this light will actually turn green so you'll know when it's all ready to go. All right, so going over the user interface, it's pretty straightforward. It has these cool buttons on top. They're actually pretty good size, and they have rubber, so you can feel them pretty easily. Um, uh, you can use them with wearing gloves on, so if you're doing house projects or something at the shop or at work, this is still very usable light. Um, pushing the power button once turns the light on. It has three uh, levels. It has low, mid, oh, low, mid, and high. And as you saw, if, you, if you're in a primary output mode and you wait three seconds, pushing the power again will actually turn off the light. So it's kind of the, a little quirk about it. It doesn't continue forwarding through the modes to get to off. Um, so I guess it's okay. It's been um, uh, a little bit tricky sometimes, but um, it's just something to remember. Pushing the red light button brings it into the red light mode. And this is one of the brightest red LEDs I've seen in a, head, in a headlamp or in any uh, flashlight yet. Um, it is super bright. So again, waiting three seconds in any of these modes will turn the light off if you push a button again. So click it once and to steady, click it twice into a blinky mode. Um, you can switch to the primary mode by pushing the power button without it turning off. So you can go back and forth. All right, and there's a couple of hidden modes. So what you do is you hold the power button for about three seconds and it'll actually blink and you have to hold it till it gets there. And if you click it once and you'll go to the next hidden mode. And if you click it one more time, it'll turn it off. So again, hold it for three seconds. It'll go into SOS mode. And you click it one more time. Oh, you have to click it the button again within three seconds to advance it or it turns off again, like I said before. Hold it three seconds. You get SOS, you gotta click it once more within that three seconds to advance to the next one or it'll turn off. So there's also a lockout mode. You hold both buttons down together. That light blinks really quickly. Uh, so now the light is completely unresponsive and I believe the light still charges while in lockout mode So it's just great to have that feature in there as well. The headlamp is attached to a plastic base in the back Which I mean isn't too uncomfortable, but um, it's uh, not the rubber ones like the other headlamps in the in their kind of H series But it has um, a tiltable head which tilts down It says about 60 degrees which seems about right and it clicks into about three levels one two three so, I mean, that's really useful. So I'm usually looking down with this, so that works for me. But if you're looking up at things, you can always slide the headband up kind of on top of your head and that should work fine too. This uh, USB port cover is pretty easy to open, but then also it tends to pop open by itself. So, I mean, it's always kind of tricky balance. Um, maybe what would have helped was having the connection point be at the top of the cover, so it'd be hanging downward. All right, so that's my review of Nikkor NU10. 
Um, it is 160 lumens. Most people would pass this by, but I would say take another look. If you're working a long shift or need lots a uh, long run time, you need to balance that with the, the lumen output because the higher the lumens, the quicker your batteries are gonna drain. Um, be, go practical, get something that fits your, your needs, and has a run time you need. Um, if you're a flashlight enthusiast, I would suggest picking up the Nikkor's F1 power bank. If you've got a bunch of 18650s lying around, this is going to be coming in handy. You can plug this into your NU10, power it up on the go, and you'll have a lot of run time. Um, so yeah, that's my review. I'm pretty happy with it. A very affordable price point. Um, check out my full review on my uh, WordPress blog at silvergear.wordpress.com. And uh, keep an eye on my channel. I'll probably be posting a review of the Nikkor F1 in a little bit. And probably something on my uh, WordPress blog as well. Uh, feel free to browse my YouTube channel and look at more videos and I'll see you next time.